So we're going to do some troubleshooting tips for Matrix Electronics MSI 100. This is the portable FM wireless transmitter for your car. And first off, we're going to talk about the suction cup here. Now, it comes a little bit sticky at first. If you're having trouble with your suction cup, because this will attach to your windshield, you click this lever, and this is a super strong suction. If you're having trouble, you must clean your windshield with soap and water. What's happening is there's usually a film on the glass which will repel this suction. So clean it with soap and water, and then dry it carefully, and then attach your unit. And that should solve all your problems. If it still won't uh, stick after doing that, contact the company and you can email them at uh, Matrix Electronics. Uh, support at matrixelectronics.com. Next, let's talk about um, charging the unit. So in each package, you get three, two cables and one charger unit for your socket uh, inside your car. This light must be illuminated in order for it to be working properly in your car. So let's just open these up. And I want to show you something with regards to charging. Now, with these particular units, they're very delicate. Um, this charge cable, as you can see, will have a smaller side and a wider side. And you can see the difference between the two. Any jamming of this charger into this unit could potentially damage the unit. So you, what you want to do is make sure that you are matching it properly once you put it in, there you go, and then this end can go into your computer or any USB port to charge, or into this unit so you can charge it in your car. These batteries should last at least a week uh, for use, and to charge it takes around two hours to fully charge. So let's move on to the next. In order for your phone to work properly, you must first connect it with this 3.5 millimeter cable. It goes into the side of the MSI here. And what we do is we attach our phone. It's that simple, this is secure. And then this goes into your headphone jack. Now with some cases, this headphone jack might not be able to, to go in all the way. Uh, what you're gonna have to do is figure that out for yourself. It pops into place and it's good to go. You can turn on your unit with these numbers here. This is for your FM mode. You just have to match the frequency that's a clear station on your stereo uh, in your car. Um, and then you will actually hear this unit take over the radio. Once, 